What's up, everyone? It's a boy with his tech, and today we're gonna do a little quick of now. It's kind of a desk tour, but at the same time, it is yeah. I guess a desk tour, or let's call it my twenty twenty setup. So I'm, this is an idea I got from one of my favorite YouTubers, David David Lee, I believe. Um, and so pretty much not copying, well, I guess I am, <laughs> but it's inspired from him. And I'm gonna show you my current setup, my workflow my desk and the things I use on a daily basis and then after I show you was quickly on my desk we're gonna go straight into um, talk about pretty much everything that I like and why I like it so this is just a quick intro to uh, to this video so let's get into seeing the things I like all right so I wish I had like a best up here I'm just by myself <laughs> Did you know one of my YouTubers? So you already seen this part of the desk before. I, I can't go back too far. Um, sorry if I'm talking extremely, extremely loud. But right now I'm using this BenQ monitor. It's not the best. Um, it's a 4K 60 hertz, but it's a TN. I believe it's a TN panel, and it has horrible uh, viewing angles. So not the best. Uh, not the best in the world. But it gets the job done. Um, you've seen these two things right before. This is my Logitech keyboard and my Magic Trackpad. Uh, I have the stand that I that have my monitor on. I got from Amazon, pretty cheap. These are my AirPods Pro. Uh, keep those in handy. Um, I have this Micro uh, SanDisk. Um, it's oh, it's a use it's 128 gigabyte. It's a USB A or no Type 3.0. Um, and then you have the USB-C part on the side. So good for I use for like my iPad, my Mac, whatever. Um, over here I have my pink, sorry, it's gold, but pink sandstone uh, Apple Watch Series. What is it, Series 6 now? The newest one that came out, but it is the smaller version. So I have the dust around here. Got an update today because I do know the update came out that has Apple Fitness Plus, which everyone use. This is the... Uh, MagSafe charger for my iPhone. I, this is the only way I try my iPhone these days. I love using it. It's amazing. Um, I have these Bose speakers. One over here. The second one's over here. Um, this connect to my. As well, it was connected to the monitor, but now it's connected to the Mac Mini to get the sound from there. So right here, I have the M1 Mac Mini that we heard a lot about by now. Um, the Raspberry Pi is back there. Um, then I have this is a. Western Digital Easy Port external drive, I believe it's five terabyte. Below it is a SSD that's enclosed in the in the casing. Probably should stack them on top of each other. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I probably should probably fix. <laughs> um, I have a lamp. <laughs> it's a it's a lamp. There's nothing to it. This is the iPhone stand here. Um, one thing I have not shown you guys at all yet. Uh, this is the Oculus Quest Two. I have it on Boxing View that. I haven't uploaded yet. I got it for my birthday as a birthday gift. So when I'm feeling, uh, I probably throw this up in an extra video because I didn't get a video last week. So this would be a little treat to see the unboxing of that. Probably won't really do a real, real in depth of it because I don't know how to work like recording uh, VR stuff. This is the iPad 11 Pro. Sorry, that made no sense. This is the iPad Pro 11 inch <laughs> with a cheap uh, Apple. No, this is a cheap Amazon cover. Not even Apple. Uh, I have a money tree here, a fan. That's not really important. Okay, so let's get to this section of, of my desk setup. So over here, you see this phone panel. It's for like when I record my podcast with a friend. Uh, check it out, Project K Fape, if you're into wrestling or uh, pop culture. Um, I'm on the wrestling podcast. Podcast of it, as you can see. I am a wrestling fan. You see the <laughs> WrestleMania mug right here. This is the old gaming chair that I got a few years ago. It is starting to break down on me, but. I mean, it gets the job done. Oh, I don't want you to see that cable management down there. It's pretty bad, uh, but it gets the job done. Um, so over here, you see the foam is a small little desk. Um, I like to have a separate workplace for when I do like work work for like my job. Uh, so over here we have my MacBook Pro 16 inch, my favorite headphones in the world, uh, a Finit mic and PS5 remote, I don't, I don't know why it's there, and uh, another phone stand. So that is the quick setup. So now we're gonna transfer over from this to me talking about my favorite products. Let's start that. 
all right everyone so welcome to the second part of this video and uh take this out because i'm kind of hot all right so second part of the video so now i'm going to show you the main things so i'll show you basically my whole desktop right and now we're going to zero zero in on the things that i use daily and why i use them and why they're my favorite uh not favorite tech of this year but favorite part uh favorite things to use views on a daily basis um so everything this table is the main components of my workflow um the rest of the stuff Ooh, forgot two things over there so one sec all right so now we got everything here is what main stuff so the other things over there that have like my magsafe charger they saw my apple watch um, i use the magsafe charger every day but i'm not gonna show it to you because mainly because my iphone is, is recording this video right now so the reason that i can't share my iphone is because it's being used <laughs> so i won't have anything to record it with um and then my Raspberry Pi, I don't actually use it every single day yet. So I'm working on making sure I can use that in some kind of function. My AirPods Pro, I also don't use every day um, because I use these. Um, then I have my external drives, don't want to really move them because, you know, moving drives that can get a little bit messy. Um, so I don't want to move those over. And uh, so yeah, let's get into this, all right. So first thing I'm here, I'm gonna talk about is the one thing I want to talk about for so long. And this is my Sony WHXX 1000 1000X. You know what I'm talking about, the XM4s. <laughs> That's what I'm just gonna call them. The XM4s are pretty much my favorite headphones of not just like 2020, but these are probably my favorite headphones of all time. First of all, I love this silver color. It looks beautiful. But these are quite honestly my favorite headphones that I had probably ever purchased. And the reason for that is because one, the noise canceling on these, are fantastic like literally like once you put them on like the sound of snap you, everything's you can't hear nothing at all like when i first used the airpods pro i thought those had amazing noise canceling those those were my first foray into noise canceling headphones and kind of like after using those i was like i can only use noise canceling headphones i can't use anything else besides it and then, so these right here oh uh, my second well third because i actually bought the surface headphones too and i was not a huge fan of those quite honestly sci-fi outside I'm not sure what's going on there um i was not a huge fan of the surface headphones too um maybe because the sound quality was not that great and plus when it comes from microsoft that's more of, of a i would say a, uh hmm i would say more like a work kind of headphone so like if you're on conference calls and whatnot you use those but i'm a big i have to consider myself a mini audio file because i could hear the difference in between sounds when it comes to headphones so like i could tell the difference between how these sound versus the airpods pro these sound way better i could tell the difference between this and the surface headphones completely different i could tell the sound difference between these and the ps5 headphone headset once again these are way better um these are just great sounding headphones i think to me personally for at least what i use these are probably the best sounding noise cancer headphones on the market i think they're better than bose i never used bose before but i'm gonna say these are better and these are quite maybe my favorite i'm gonna talk about my favorite tech of 2020 but these are pretty much spoiler alert these are up there <laughs> easily you know what i'm just gonna love them so much I'm gonna put them around my neck ne next thing um i look uncomfortable all right next thing on the list is gonna be this is not any particular order i'm just gonna go down the list Let's talk about this uh, my Finit headphones. I'm both sorry. I'm talking about headphones a lot. I'm going. This is my Finit. Uh, Finit. Oh, I'm, I'm saying Finit. Sorry. It's be fine. I might be spelling that wrong. Anyway, uh, microphone. Uh, this cost me about forty-five dollars. I got it off of Amazon. Um, and I use it for my podcast that I record with my friend. As I mentioned earlier, we, we do a wrestling podcast together. It's two parts: wrestling, one half. Another half is pop culture. I'm on the pop culture part, but I'm on the wrestling part. And if you like wrestling or pop culture, check it out. Project K Fave, link in the below in the description. I use this mic. Um, if you watch, if you listen to the podcast, um, this is the mic that I talk on for the most part. And I love this mic. It's very simple. I had a different mic that I used before that had like a class onto the desk. Um, the, uh, it's the instead of this I forgot, pop filter, it was like one of the circle ones. It was complicated to use and it wasn't very uh, on the go with. So I go to my uh, my, my girlfriend's house uh, pretty frequently. So and sometimes they record over there. So with this, I can record over there with ease. My mother has my other microphone was not portable at all. This is portable 
and it's just a simple plug it into your laptop uh, if you have a macbook you need like an adapter but it sounds great um i use it for work too one time the first time i used this at work my coworker was like you sound really clear like what, what's going on here and i was using this so i think it sounds pretty good especially like we have conference calls on zoom in this digital age if you want to get to podcasting it works really good for that too this is the fee fine i'm not sure the model number uh, but everything will be linked below in the description to check out. So this is one of my other favorite, one of my most used texts of, of 2020. Um, next, I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with the thing I use probably the, not the thing I use most, let's actually move away from that. Let's go to, I talked about this before, you saw the unboxing, the Logitech, Got the model number of this one too. It's not anywhere on here, but yeah, it was gonna be in the description below. But this is the Logitech multi device Bluetooth keyboard. I love this thing so much. Why? Because it's multi device. So as you can see, you can connect to three different uh, sources. I connected to my iPad, my Mac mini. It used to be connected to my MacBook when I used to dock it, but not anymore. So it's connected to just these two for now. Um, the third thing I'm going to connect to most likely will be the uh, Raspberry Pi if, if, it, if it can connect to Bluetooth because that I'm not even entirely sure. Um, but I love this keyboard. It, 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 um, the keys are circles so it's not like a traditional keyboard but it's also very portable if I had to take it up somewhere and go somewhere. It feels really great. It's on. Turn it, off. it feels great. The keys feel great. Like. You get, you get a nice feedback from it from being portable and it connects to mul multiple devices at the click of just holding down the Bluetooth. For what it does, it, it's, it's really good and it's one of my favorite pieces of tech this year that I bought. This didn't come out this year, but um, it's been very helpful. Uh, and along with that is the Magic Trackpad from Apple. Once again, this thing is it's, 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 it's magic. <laughs> like, um, uh, before I had a mouse uh, that I used to use, but after using my trackpad on my MacBook, this just feels way better. And it's a really large trackpad. I have a black uh, skin, skin on it uh, to match the keyboard because the space gray version costs way too much money. It feels great. Uh, it, it still works perfectly fine. Um, I love this thing so much. Uh, and yeah, so this is the magic trackpad. There's not much to say about it besides like it's it works, you know, and it works really well with this bad boy right here. Which is actually not the next thing I'm gonna talk about. I'm actually gonna talk about the thing that really connects the bridge for me between these two devices, and it is the iPad. Um, this is the iPad Pro 11 inch. So you never seen it before. I never unboxed this on this channel because I never did. I was on a, I was on a hiatus when I first got this. As you know, I unboxed the iPad Air 2020. And as you can see now, I no longer have it as I have this instead. So I did return it to get this. And why did I return it to get this one instead? Mainly because I was someone who was going for, coming from a 120 hertz display and moving from 120 hertz to 60 hertz was, it was nauseating for me. I couldn't, I just couldn't handle it. Um, other people might not be a big problem, but for me, I just could not do it. So this is why I had to switch to this device instead. Uh, so this has 120 hertz. It this is the 256 gigabyte model, so I have more storage too. I can say I'm out. Same amount of storage. Um, it has the dual camera system on the back, as you can see. I don't take pictures with this. I don't record. If I do have to record, it should look decent. It's not gonna be iPhone straight up iPhone quality, but it should look good enough. Um, and you know, it might as well just have a dual system. This is a cheap case I got off Amazon because I'm not paying Apple the price. And of course, the Apple, the Mac, uh, Apple Pencil that I use to edit uh, pictures. If I'm making a thumbnail, I use Canva on this or a Fini Designer or Fini Photo. And um, it works pretty great. Uh, this is space gray, the Space Gray version, so it matches pretty nice with my MacBook. Um, and quite honestly, like, this thing works, it works fine. It works great. I love it. Um, I'm a big fan of having an iPad as a secondary device because to me, it just matches up well with your computers. Um, so moving on from that, the next thing on the list will be the new Mac Mini. A little bit dust on there. So this is the new Mac Mini M1 edition. 
Um, you've seen this before. I don't really have to go too in depth of it. Um, I never did a full review on this. I'm sorry. I apologize. I've been busy, but this thing works great. For only 8 gigabytes of RAM, I'm in love with this machine. Um, I use it. I haven't officially used it as my day-to-day -day work computer. I still use my laptop, but I am slowly transitioning from moving things from here to here. I'm just went to get a new monitor, which I am getting for, for uh, Christmas. So that I'm, it might not be. It might not have a full working setup until oh, what is it? Christmas is next week. That's ridiculous. So I won't have a really good working setup until next week. But I am slowly transitioning to this. The screen flick flickering issue that I'm encountering, I think it's my monitor. I am going to try it today by switching it from HDMI to from, um, what you call it, from uh, Thunderbolt to HDMI and see if overscan is causing the issue. It might be that. I'm not exactly sure. Something is causing it to flicker. I'm not sure if it's the monitor. I'm not sure if it's this. It doesn't flicker when I connect to my TV, so I'm assuming it's the monitor. We're going to find out eventually when I do try it out. Um, last on the list is going to be my MacBook 16 inch and uh, the reason why I'm this is the on my list this is my daily driver I use this for everything I use this for uh, sometimes editing videos if I don't use this I use it for consuming uh, media I use it for work I use it for pretty much everything I love this computer so much you don't understand I just got this year too um, I had an iMac before and I sold it off to get this and quite honestly, I, I love using this thing. I didn't like having the big iMac um, as like a my sole device to use. Uh, I just like to be portable. Plus, I was going back to school, so this was going to be helpful in that case. So yeah, so, so it doesn't matter because now that I'm going to school virtually, um, I don't need to, it doesn't need to be portable. But for when I do travel and stuff like that, to, uh, it's good for when I do travel to places like say I go to my girlfriend's house, I do have to take my computer. I could take the Mac Mini because it is so small, but I'd rather just leave it here docked and not move it, and I'll be taking this instead. So, that's a bulk of the things that I use on a daily basis besides my phone, which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max that is recording this video right now, um, and my Apple Watch, uh, which is charging, so I'm not going to move it right now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, that is the main things. Um, this is most stuff you saw on my desk that I haven't shown you yet, like the Oculus Quest. Um, I do have an unboxing video that wasn't uploaded, but as a bonus video for this week, since I didn't upload last week, you're going to get that video too sometime this week, and you might even get a third video. Probably not. <laughs> um, this some other, some, I know I had the holiday guy coming up, but I missed the mark in that. School was just extremely busy, so I didn't have time to make that video and work. So that's going to come out eventually. I mean, that's not going to come out anymore. <laughs> Scratch that. It's, it's done. Um, but I hope you did find some cool gifts to find on uh, tech gifts if you want to give out tech. Um, one thing I do want to do is a tech bag. I never made a tech bag before, so I want to do that together on this channel. And in the tech bag, the most stuff you see here, but it'd be cool to put together live in front of you guys and girls. Um, so that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching today. I uh, hope you appreciate. I mean, I hope you like the video. Like and subscribe. Share. Share the content. You know, I need that content out there. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. It's a boy in his tech. And it was nice talking to you. Peace.